Okay, hello everybody. Okay, so I wasn't planning on doing this today. But I've been asked by so many people to do this. And I gave a little challenge to somebody who had emailed me. You know who you are. I don't want to mention names. But um, it really touched my heart. Her, her, You can thank her. I don't know if she wants to be named, but um, I will say her first name is Brianna. She emailed me for a personal read, and then she mentioned this read, okay? That's why I'm doing it, because of some things she said. She said that today Morgan would have turned 31 today. Today is her birthday. I'm getting shivers through my body. I'm very nervous doing this read, especially when I'm doing a read on a child. It's very, it hits me hard because of the past trauma in my life, okay? So, you just gotta give me a minute. Cases like this are very hard for me to do, okay? So I'm going to do this read. I'm praying to the good Lord and to everything good and sacred that something comes through this read today that will help find this little girl, okay? That's now would be 31 today. can't tear up because then I can't see the cards but I am I'm tearing up so I'm going to do this read hopefully I can get through this as as I said it's very emotional for me because I had a very traumatic things happen in my traumatic things happen in my childhood from the age of four so the this this case is hitting home for me okay Thankfully, I lived. This little girl, uh, we don't know what's happened to her, okay? So we're going to try and get some information. I'm going to use two decks, so this may be a long read, you guys. So grab a coffee, grab some tissues. I don't have any in here because I need some right now. I'm going to use two decks. I'm going to do the Ancestor deck to try and see what happened that day that she went missing. And I don't know if a lot of you have seen this deck. This is the Starseed Oracle deck. This is the deck I use for the train reads to try and pinpoint where people are, can be found. So we're going to use that deck too. So like I said, this may be an awful long read, but uh, I'm dedicated to all my reads and more so when it's a child that was taken okay so with that i'm going to get these shuffled up a bit okay i just want to make sure i've got her name right here morgan nick six years old my ancestors, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael, to please assist in this read with my ancestors so we can get some clear, precise information regarding a little girl named Morgan Nick who went missing on June 9th, 1995 at six years old. Asking my ancestors to connect with little Morgan's spirit guides, guardian angels, to give us the information that we need regarding her situation. Okay. 
ancestors have a situation regarding little Morgan. What happened with her? Okay, so this is a situation. This is the main part of the situation. This is what we gotta look into deeper. And this is in the secret position. Okay, so this is stuff that hasn't been known yet, hasn't come out yet, hasn't come to light yet. So right away in the main part of the situation, I've got the boundaries were crossed, okay? Part of the situation we gotta look into deeper. I got genocide. Okay. And what this card tells me is she was lethally harmed. And it's not the first time this person's done this, okay? That's what I get when the genocide card comes out. <clears throat> And in the secret position, I got something about a partner, okay? We're going to get clarification on all these cards, okay? So I'm asking my ancestors again to please connect with little Morgan, her guardian angels, spirit guides, to bring out the messages that we need to know to help find her and tell us what happened to her my ancestors to bring forth the messages regarding little Morgan Nick. <sighs> okay, as you guys know, that when cards fly out of the deck like that, I believe it's the person I'm reading that has something to tell us that she doesn't think is going to come out in the read. Bless her little soul. It's the ancestors for the messages regarding Morgan Nick. What happened to her? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I'm going to pause this for a minute, you guys. I just got to take a minute. Okay, I'm back. Lord, help me get through this. Okay. So at the head, I see blood. Okay, which means she was physically harmed. We know that with the genocide, this is what we've got to look into deeper, okay? I'm going to start off with the main part of the situation, because this tells us what we need to know. And this just helps clarify things, because this is what she's telling us happened, okay? So at the head, we got blood. It connects this way, it connects this way, and it connects this way. So she's talking about the dark. Okay, so when I get the dark, that means that things have been covered up and hidden from people. She's also telling me about control. And it goes along with the boundaries being crossed, okay? So I believe that she was initially injured when she was taken, okay? And she was covered up when she was taken. I think she was taken out of the area. This could even be taken across state lines. I don't know how close this is to the borders of different states, 
but I'm seeing that boundaries were crossed. Okay, so when the first cards that come out tell a lot, the rest are just clarifying what has come out, okay? So this is very important, okay? He gained control over her, okay? Covered her up. I don't know if he hit her. He did something to either knock her out or injure her that she went out cold. He covered her up. He gained control over her, okay? And he left with her. He crossed boundaries. I don't think this person is from the immediate area, okay? With what we got to look into deeper, this is the head, this is the beginning, and this is the end. What the fire tells me is aggressive arguments, fights, verbal disagreements that turn heated. I don't see this here, okay? I see a physical fire. So I think he's burned her. I think she's been burned. And the genocide tells me that he's not only caused lethal harm to her, but he's done this before. See how the three RIPs? He's done this before. This isn't his first rodeo, guys. Now in the secret position, okay, I get the blood and I get official. This doesn't have to mean a policeman. Okay? This tells me about anybody in a position of authority. And I get it with the blood. So I don't know if this person was an EMS, somebody that worked in a lab, somebody that worked for Red Cross, Somebody that dealt with blood. Somebody could have been somebody who, you know, uh, what do you call them people? Taxidermist. But I see a blood connection with this official. This isn't a secret position. We don't know about this yet. Okay, see this, this party? It can have many meetings. My ancestors tell me how this is applied. How all these cards are applied for the situation. This has so many different meanings. This is telling me a party of three. Because I got the three here too with the genocide. So there's something about three. I get three balloons. I get, I get three balloons. And I get three in the genocide. He's done this before. Okay, and there's also something about a partner. So I don't know how this partner fits in yet, but we will figure this out when we get to the clarification, which we're going to do right now on the situation, which is the three, these three bottom cards. So I'm asking my ancestors for clarification into the situation regarding little Morgan Nick. My ancestors to reveal the clarification cards on the situation regarding little Morgan Nick. What happened to her? Okay. this do not cross the boundaries he took her somewhere else she she's not in the area where she was taken from and he's he's buried her okay and i believe he tried to burn her remains first her remains were burnt before burying her this lunatic that's caused lethal harm not just to morgan but he's done this before this person is going to have a drinking problem, a drug problem, does things to excess. Obviously, we know that with this card coming out, okay? But he's also going to have either some kind of drinking or drug problem. And I think that this has caused a problem in his job. And I see his job 
having something to do with blood. So like this isn't, this isn't like, I don't know, it's an official, but this official deals with a lot of blood in his normal job line of work. Could work where they draw blood for like blood tests, could be a paramedic, could be somebody that like a taxidermist that stuffs animals type thing. Oh, God. But he's done this before. He's comfortable doing what he's doing. He has a drinking or drug problem, and I think that might have interfered with this job that he had. Okay? And I see this party of three. It's like, He's done this three times. That's what I'm thinking. You see this partner thing? Seeing trapped with this partner, I'm still not getting that. Unless he had help. Unless there was somebody else that was involved in this. But right now I'm seeing a partner and I don't know how that's fitting in with this. Because she was much too young to have a partner. So what I could be thinking is maybe this person's partner knows about it, but is feeling trapped. Maybe he's being threatened by this person because she's scared of him. Going for clarification on the messages. That's my ancestors to please bring forth clarification on the messages regarding Morgan Nick. Please help us find Morgan Nick. Please give us information so we can help find her. It's the ancestors to bring forth information regarding confirmation on these messages regarding Morgan Nick. Okay, so with this blood, I feel she was kept alive for some time. Not long, but I feel like she was kept alive for a period of time. Because I see the ice melting slowly, and I see this blood. So I think that she was initially injured when she was first taken, maybe to knock her out so she could be covered up and taken away. But I feel like he kept her alive for a bit. Okay, with this dark and this obsessed. This is not good. This is somebody who's obsessed with stuff, okay? Obsessed with something. And they've kept it very well hidden. Hidden from people. So I think this person's going to be a, a loner. So this partner thing, I don't know how it's coming in, but... It's almost like he takes children back to his place, somewhere where he feels safe taking them. So if he has a partner, maybe some cabin that he has, something like that, that's what I'm seeing as I'm doing this. And this is very emotional for me, okay? But I see he's obsessed. He's obsessed with this. 
He's obsessed with kids. He's obsessed with the control that he has with kids. Okay. Now, this is the main part of the situation. So this is what's happening when she's... What happened to her, okay? He took control of her, okay? But he had a change of plans. Something happened. I don't think that she was initially targeted, but something happened. That he had a change of plans. Something's being covered up too. Because there's a change of plans here. So something happened with this guy that's obsessed with kids. I don't think he sought her out. I think this was an opportunity he seen and he took it. But I see him obsessed with this, doing this. And I think he's, I don't think she's the only child that he's done this to. He's obsessed with it. He's obsessed with taking kids. Okay, because it, it, and this wasn't planned. He's seen an opportunity and he jumped on it and got control of it like that. That's what I'm seeing. It was like that. Okay, this couldn't have been foreseen. It was done like that. That's how quick he did it. That's how I am positive that he's obsessed with doing this and that he's done it before. He's very comfortable with what he's doing. And he gained control over it like that. Okay? And it, he took her. He took her away from that area. Okay? And he buried her somewhere. But not before trying to burn her. This guy's a whack job. This guy is out there, man. Like, there's kids at risk if this guy is not found and this is such a, a case from so long ago I can't imagine because I don't see him stopping he does things to excess he didn't just do this once and got away with it and said to the I better stop he's doing this to excess so I think there's going to be other cases that they're going to be able to tie to this guy okay this is the biggest clue right here. This, this person who done this somehow works where blood is involved. He feels cheated out of this job. Okay? And I think it has to do with his, this drinking or drug problem. I think he's been cheated out of this job. This has gone light on me. She's talking about the sun. The sun is warm and new beginnings, contentment, happy reunions, and she's showing me the party and the balloons. I don't know if you guys celebrate her birthday. But she's telling me that she sees the balloons. And that's a little bit of warmth in this dark crap over here. I think I know how this partner comes in now. I think this partner ratted on him about his, his drinking or drug problem. And that's why he lost his job. He felt cheated out of it. And he felt like he was being trapped. So this was, I don't know what else, what other kind of work he's now into. But I see some kind of employment around fire. So some kind of employment where he's doing something that requires heat. I'm trying to see what I get. I'm trying to see what I can get. You know what I'm getting? 
I'm getting steel. You know what I'm seeing when I asked for, I want to see it. I know it's heat. He's working in some kind of employment now. This all comes together. We know he tried to burn her already. But this employment is not about what happened here. This employment is telling us where he's employed now because he got fired from here. He feels he was cheated out of that. But this employment now, I think he was, he's, I think, oh my God, you don't even, guys don't even want to know. His obsession with these deaths of these kids, and, I, and I'm saying that because I think he's done it before, and he tries to burn their bodies so they can't be found, and then he buries them. So now he has an obsession not only with what he's doing to these kids, now that he's been cheated out of this job, this is another thing he's, he's obsessed with, is fire and burning not only his victims, but it's now his new employment. He works somewhere where there's heat something hot. So when I asked, show me his employment, you know what I got? You know when, um, I don't know if you guys ever seen that, how's it made? And they show you how to make, how they make steel in these big steel companies. And you see that red hot steel being porn, por porn. Oh my God. I'm so sorry, guys. Porn, porn. How do you say that? When it comes out of the, the big vat and is poured, sorry poured into like a mold and it's red red hot and then it, it, when it gets cold it's like a brick of steel that's what i'm seeing something like that is what he's working in now or worked in once he lost this job i don't know how old this guy is but that was his next employment and he loved it he loved this because of the blood, and he loved this because of the fire. Okay? That's how this is connecting. I'm going to go in for her messages. See this? They know. Somebody knows that this guy either knows what he's done. They know. Appreciation. The appreciation, I believe, is for this. Because I'm being drawn to the sun. The flowers are drawn to sun. She's telling the family she's appreciative of the celebrations that they have for her birthday. Happy birthday, Morgan. Today's your birthday. Let us find something for you today. They know. She's telling me they know. Somebody in here that I've spoke about, she's saying they know what he's done. This might be a partner of his that knows what he's done, but is terrified of him because of this, because of what he's capable of because of this genocide. I think that this partner knows. And I don't know why they wouldn't come forward. I'm sure the police would protect her. But this partner, I think, knows. So now I'm going to go into the star seed. Okay, the star seed gives me a lot of indication, shows me areas where she could have been taken to, okay? We know that she was taken away from where she was She was abducted from. She was taken from that area. She could have been crossing boundaries. That could be he took her out of state. So is there some place near there? You know what I mean? But this official worked somehow with blood. I've told you what that could be, in my opinion. I feel they got fired. They felt cheated out of this because somebody ratted on him about his drinking or drug problem. He got fired and then went on to do this kind of job. So that could be a clue. That could tell. 
I believe that there is, somebody told me that there is a, a picture of somebody that, of interest. I would put this information with that to see if that sparks anybody's, oh my God, yes, he used to be an ambulance, and this is hypothetical, I'm just saying. I don't think this is a police officer. This is somebody who worked specifically with blood. Okay? Taking blood, you know when you go for blood tests, working in a lab, taxidermy where they stuff uh, dead animals, stuff like that would be his employment. But I'm seeing officials, so that's why I'm thinking hospitals, doctors, stuff like that, that work with blood. The Red Cross. We have that here in Canada. I don't know if you have that in the States. He got fired because of his drinking the drug problem. And then he went to work in a place where it was like a heated place. And I explained that to you. But this guy's obsessed not only with taking kids, because he's done this before. And he's probably done it again after Morgan. But he's also obsessed with the fire. That's why he got into his next job was heat. Okay, little Morgan, work with my ancestors, my ancestors to work with Morgan spirit guides and guardian angels. Bring out some cards here that may give us hints to possibly where she could be or who this person possibly could be. We got our three cards, guys. <sighs> okay, so the first card that we got is perspective. Okay, perspective talks about finding common ground, and that's what I'm talking about. She's telling us to find the common ground. This is going to be the common ground with his employment. That picture. Does that picture have in common somebody? Does that picture look like somebody who used to do this, but now did that? They could be retired now. Find the common ground. Okay. The next I get is jump in. Okay. So what this tells me, when it says jump in, Talks about adventure, the adventure, and say yes to change. Okay? This is the change. I don't know if there's ever been a reading like this done on little Morgan, but this is the change maybe that needed to happen to bring out who this guy is. Can you see this? See this? I got the called card. This is soul gifts and training. It's time to step up. So this is telling me, you guys, that there's information here. I've got that he's crossed boundaries. So he's either taken her out of that city and into another city, or he's crossed boundaries with her. I don't think it's far. I don't think it's very far. Perspective. She's telling us jump in perspective find the common ground and I think the common ground is going to be that this guy is obsessed with children number one and he's also obsessed with the fire he's done this before and he's probably done it after Morgan too here's the hints to who this person is that sketch put that together that sketch with this could be somebody that worked with blood who got fired because of a drinking and drug problem who's obsessed with fire who's probably after this firing 
because he, he was cheated out of the sea side because of this. He went on to work in another employment where things were heated, where he could see fire. He's obsessed with the fire as much as he's obsessed with grabbing kids. This partner feels trapped in it. I think she knows. I think she knows, but she's feeling trapped. I think she's scared to come forward because of him. And she knows what he's done to these little kids. She's scared of what he'll do to her. And these cards are telling me to find the common ground. That's the common ground. Okay. I'm praying to the good Lord and to everything sacred that this brings out some kind of information that can help find where Morgan is and find who did this to her. This is her birthday, Lord. But something happened for her, for her birthday. I pray for that. This needs to be put back out there big time. Share this out wherever you can. Put this out here. Put this out here. I'm going to put. make sure there's a picture of this guy in my thumbnail. Share this everywhere you can. I want every corner of the United States to see this. Somebody knows who this guy is. And this little girl deserves justice and so does her family. So I don't care even if you don't believe in what I do. Believe in the will of the good Lord that this could help find her. I've got to end this right now. Please do the right thing. Share it out. I'm not going to ask you to hit that subscribe button because it's really not important to me right now. What's important is helping this family find this little girl and bring her home where she belongs. Say a prayer for her tonight. And say a prayer that this helps find this person who did this to her. And pray for this person here who feels trapped, that knows about what he's done. To give her strength to come forward. Make him pay for what he's done to these kids. Let's all just pray for that. Share this out. I beg you. Bye-bye for now.